Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I just want to explain a bit more on my post ban list Pendulum Magician deck and how I usually combo with it just to explain a bit more of my thinking process when going through the bot setup hoping to help everyone here who's uh, wondering how do you play Pendulum Magician without uh, Harley Freebots right now yeah. but before I go into the video uh, if you are enjoying this so far do hope that you can help me by subscribing to my channel and liking my video and also commenting down any questions that you might have or any suggestion so yeah so before i jump into duo let's take a look at the deck list first uh, so uh, it, it's pretty standard uh, we i still have my level 7 dragon pit position because without harley free bucks you have one lesser way of bringing up uh, your negation or, or your savage bro load so to me i'll still prioritize having my absolute dragon out to bring out my vortex dragon and then uh time gazer i'll say is optional right now um, although i do feel that because i'm playing the side package so chronograph into your time gazer or chronograph to bring out your electromite before pendulum summoning i think it's really good and three ash blossom is definitely a must uh, i was swapping between call by the grave and ash blossom and i feel that in the end ash blossom should still be better because it's still a monster that i can uh, pendulum summon out into in, to either go into Anaconda or uh, Artifact Dagga. Okay, then uh, my Destiny Hero package choice will be Denier and your standard Dasher. The De uh, Denier basically because you can actually bring it back out the next turn to actually open up uh, to link to link uh, any link to that opens up your pen panel summon slot. So Denier to me is the choice here. And then uh, there's a uh, Wisdom Eye Magician, of course, you definitely go for three. Pendant Lapsa I still go for 1 because I think that Ignister is still pretty important although I would say it's a 50-50% thing for me right now I, I think I might just take it out in future Skull Chromat definitely 3 and Harmonizing because it got, just got unlimited to 3 of course you want to play 3 for this it's a very very important card then Double Iris 2 of course uh, having 2 of this is very useful because usually when your Astrograss uh, destroy your Double Iris you, you won't be able to search so that you want to try to find ways for uh, Astrocard to search or something else but in this case once you've got dub two double iris you don't have to do that anymore and you'll be able to easily bring out your star pendant graph and time pendant graph after that okay uh black fang i dropped from three to two uh to be honest for black fang initially when double iris was at three you don't even play any of the black fang at least for the ocg side so i'm happy to uh take away one black fang here but still keeping two just in case my Astrocard can search for it uh, Purple Poison at 3D is one of your strongest remover. I would say one of the stronger remover card easily. Uh, it, you, are, it very, you can trigger it very easily and then uh, you can also search for it quite easily as well. Okay, then a bit different from this deck list, I play the Dark Worm or Ice Revolution package just so that I can have that 6.8k uh, damage. So how does it work is you throw away your Revolution Dragon to the graveyard and then add one Dark Worm. So, so since this is in the graveyard, you will be able to use your Supreme King Starving Venom to copy its effect. So its effect is it uh, it gains a uh, life point equals to half your opponent's life point. So usually your opponent will have like uh, eight thousand, and then uh, uh, half of it will be four thousand. So you'll be able to use for two thousand eight hundred plus four thousand up on it. So it's uh, easily six thousand eight hundred. And then if you are able to bring in another monster onto the field, it's easily 8,000 damage for the OTK. That's why for this, I prioritize, have, uh, I put in this package, just one of them. yeah. And All Ice Revolution can search for only two cards in the deck, which is your Luster Pendulum and your Dark Worm. So do take note that if you want to include this card in your deck, make sure that you have at least two Dragon cards, just in case you draw one of them. Yeah. Uh, next, your Pendulum Core. Pendulum Core I still include it in because if you have your Pendulum Core and your Revolution Dragon, you will be able to discard your Dark Worm to special summon it from the graveyard. Because if you control no monster, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. And then, uh, I usually only play two Duelist Alliance because first thing, I think it's not exactly very important. And then secondly, it's because if I have three, I might be able, I might draw two of them, but I can only activate one of them. So playing two is to reduce the chance of me drawing, uh, drawing into two of them. And lastly, of course, your Fusion Destiny package, and then your Star Pendulum Graph and Time Pendulum Graph. So for uh, Extra Deck, I would say it's pretty standard. You definitely need your All-Eyes Vortex Dragon. Your Starving Venom Dragon, mainly, uh, there's a few use for it. Either you copy your Revolution Dragon, like what I mentioned just now, or you copy uh, Baron, copy your Electromite, and yeah, there's quite a few things that you can do. 
then a uh, DP of course. Then uh, blasting the Ignister blasting Jaco Slayer is mainly for stuff that you cannot be removed by better or destruction or target. But this guy doesn't target and it just returns to the deck. So very very useful here. I still play Savage Rollout because you can very easily bring it out right now with harmonizing. But of course you will also prioritize having your Baron Defluer out with your harmonizing special summoning your old dragon here. Then uh Baron Defluer of course, then Time Star Merdition. Uh this is just something that I like myself. Like I just like having this card in the deck. Yeah. No no very no particular reason, but I guess it's also because your trap will be able to leverage on time side effect. Then uh Baguska, just in case I got Maxi, I'll just end with one Baguska and hope for the best. And Absolute Dragon of course for with your Vortex Dragon. Then uh Electroma definitely at one. Then the Dark set because I play the side package so I will need the Dark Anaconda at one, Celine one, Apollosa for relief mainly for the monster negation and let's see if I manage to survive the next turn I will be able to link it into this and open up three pendulum slot here. And lastly your access code pack uh, access code for the whole package as well to just clear your opponent. Yep. So basically this is the deck. Uh, I'll play a few games to share how the how my combo will be like. But this is just against uh against the uh, AI, yeah. This video might be a bit long, so uh, just hope to sit back. I'm not sure how long this will last, actually. Okay, so a uh, very good starting hand. So uh, because I have chronograph, so I'll try to prioritize destruction. So then, since I have my wisdom eye here, I'll actually set my wisdom eye to pop my wisdom eye so that I can bring out two monster. And usually for the other skill, you always want to prioritize double iris because you want to get out uh, to get its effect to dish, uh, to add in your pendant graph to your hand. And since uh, one card got destroyed, I will actually summon a chronograph here together with one more. So in this case, I can actually summon either one of them. I think either one is fine since I can uh, use uh, old dragon to take back harmonizing. Just to take note again, harmonizing does uh, cannot be pendant summoned from the extra deck. So maybe in this case, I will still go for time gazer. Okay, so then now I'll link into my Electromite from here. So it's always good to be able to uh, link out Electromite before Pendant Summon. So the good thing now is I do not have, I haven't normal summon yet. Okay, so Electromite definitely will just bring in your uh, Astrograph Sorcerer. And then uh, in this case, I guess I'll just destroy first. Destroy my Dava Iris to take back Astrograph. So then this the chain, chain 1 Electromite, it's a compulsory chain, you can't, uh, you, it must be chain 1. Chain 2, double iris, so search for 1 pendulum graph. And then chain 3, in this case, I can astro graph. And then the next question will be, uh, what do I search for for double iris? Is it the trap or the spell? So usually I will search for the, uh, I will search for the spell if I do not have my harmonizing in my hand. And since I have my harmonizing in my hand, I do not need the spell to search for more cards. So I'll in this case I'll prioritize the trap instead. So I'll add in the trap from here. Okay, and draw one. Let's see what do I get. Okay, now this is good. So I'll activate this uh, star panel graph, and I set my wisdom eye again. Pop my wisdom eye. So in this case, I guess I'll still go for double iris, and then uh, star panel will be able to activate itself. And uh, in this case, I'll get old dragon out here. I'll explain a bit more later. So uh, in then my old dragon have not activated its effect, but I won't be activating its effect first. So uh, then I'll do a panel summon, I guess. Yeah, quite a bit of monster here. Uh, bringing this two, should I bring out this two? Actually, I can just bring out one. Yeah, because I have my harmonizing with me. Okay, so bringing out one. Two. I think the positioning isn't that important yet. Okay. Then harmonizing will bring in my level seven dragon pit. Then just in case there's some negation or what, I'll bring in my Baron the Fluor first. Uh, go into defense position just in case opponent has lightning storm. Okay. Then next I'll bring in my absolute absolute dragon here. And then uh, I'll link it into Artifact Dark Gar first. Then once Dark Gar is out, you need something on the field to trigger its effect. So absolutely leave the field, and then I'll set my odd, odd eyes here. 
So in this case, right, if let's say I do not have the spell of the trap card here, I'll actually use Baron Defluo effect to destroy my double iris so that I can take back, uh, so that I can search for one of my spell or trap. But in this guy, I do not have since I have both. So I'll use this effect to trigger Dark effect to set my sight. Okay, so uh, nothing, nothing fanciful, just setting the sight. And also one thing to take note, if you have Star Pendergraph in your uh, in your field, you will not want to su summon Savage Brawler because you see once I set this trap right, I do not have any slot left. So even if I summon Savage Brawler, I won't be able to equip that uh, Link Monster to it to get its counter. Yeah. So do take note of that if you uh, have both the trap and the spell card there. So lastly, I'll just go into Vert to bring in my DPE deck. Uh, to bring in my DPE monster. Uh, pardon me for my pronunciation, I'm wearing my aligner now. So, uh, bring in my fusion destiny. Not then getting anything, of course. Then our fusion summon using this tool to go into my DPE. Yeah. So, I'll say this is one of the standard play for Pendulum Magician right now. And actually, I have not normal summon, but I will not do it now. So, after that, I'll change to on. Because I want to activate DPE's effect first to destroy itself and then your sight so that you can prevent your opponent from special summoning from the extra deck and then I activate your DPE so that I can come back the next turn so uh, what you see on the field right now is actually 2 negates 1 destruction and then uh, unable to special summon from the extra deck so this is how a panel magician bot looks like right now okay so this uh, this hand might be too good, so let me just go one more, one or two more, to showcase how the combo looks like with a different starting hand. Okay, let's try that again. Of course, Pendulum Magician is a deck that prioritizes going first. But uh, if going second, there's also some ways to actually bait out your opponent's negation and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, I would say bad thing about this hand is, uh, I have Pendulum Core, but I do not have a good... Uh, I do not have a good way to bring out my old dragon if I want to I, I can't destroy any of my cards basically so the good thing is I have sight here uh, okay so I'll definitely pen call but if I got ash here I'm actually uh, pretty much dead but okay this is just a bot but just uh, to take note if you got ash here you are pretty much screwed I would say uh, okay so most people I'll throw away old dragon because I still want my luster pendulum so that I can destroy it. Okay, uh, that I already have harmonizing. I need a low skill here. So I'll take my Oath Dragon together with maybe my Double Iris. Okay, let's go for this first. Maybe not Double Iris. Double Iris might be not be that useful here. Setting my Luster Panel here. The bad thing is I can't even use its effect to destroy because it won't be destroyed. Then now I'll just panel some out of this too. This is a pretty weak hand, but let's see what we can do with this. Okay, uh, this thing will definitely... I'll still bring in my Dragon Pit. Okay, the good thing is I have Sight in my hand, so I can still do something about it. Okay, then uh, Electron will be out to throw in your... I'll still throw Astrograph in this case, because I need that level 7 to go into uh, Ice Vortex. Uh, then destroy my Astrograph to add in, uh, destroy my Blaster Pendulum to add in my Astrograph to draw one and then Astrograph will be able to special summon itself so the best draw right here for Electron will be your Skull Crow Bat yeah, I'll be happy if I draw a Skull Crow Bat or any Magician card okay, let's see what I draw okay, it's really a Skull Crow Bat so why do I say this is one of the better cards? because you can normal summon this at, in at back one monster uh, which in this case, let me see, I'm, I'll add in uh, Wisdom Eye, since I have no idea what, what I will need later. Okay, set this, and then, oh, I might not, I should not have set that first, I think. Oh, actually, never mind, because I already have my, uh, I already have my sight on the, on my hand. Okay, then I'll get in Absolute, so actually in that case, I could have actually get something else. Okay, then I'll get in my Vert. Actually, I should... Yeah, actually let me just go into Vert from here. And maybe in this case I will just leave Electromite there. Should I leave Electromite there? Yeah, I think I can leave Electromite there. Okay, get in my Vert. And then Vert, uh, Absolute Dragon will be able to give me my Ice Vortex here. 
we'll just throw it at the side and then now I will uh, use its effect to fusion summon into uh, DPE not negating that of course and then bring these two out uh, not the best bot definitely but uh, my starting hand is actually quite bad so then I'll pick back one card uh, I'll pick back harmonizing of course now I'll just set my sight and then I end my turn here yeah, so similarly switch it to on so that your DP you can trigger your effect to destroy itself and then your sight and then your sight will be able to trigger this effect to uh, special summon it out to lock your opponent's extra deck yeah, so just in case your opponent has like caught by the group or anything, you still have your ice vortex to uh, negate that. Yep. Okay, so that's it for the second set. So I'll play the last combo, hopefully uh, able to explain more. Yeah, this is when your hand is not that ideal, but I would say it's still pretty strong with one negate and one side because most of the time you just need one side to actually lock your opponent. Okay, last one. Oh, this, yeah, you can't play with this hand actually. Uh, let me think. Uh, okay, I guess you can still do this. Okay, then you do this, and then you panel some out to Ash Blossom. Uh, to Ash Blossom will bring in this. And I'll bring Bird, and then that's all actually. That's nothing much you can do. It's a pretty bad hand. This, this is a worse hand than the, than the earlier hand just now. So what I'll do is I'll bring in DPE first. Then uh, I'll just end my turn here. So you can't do anything actually. So now one good thing is you, you can destroy two of your opponent's card because there's purple poison here and then there's DPE here. So and destroying purple poison is good also because you have star pendant graph. Okay, so uh, let's just simulate a bit of what's going to happen. So let's say if your opponent has some kind of monster. Then I'll be able to destroy one to, to destroy one of his card And then since purple poison got destroyed I can actually destroy one of his card on his field So maybe let's say uh, I'll just destroy this one Yep Not the, not the best hand, not the best hand But uh, I'll say at least any two monsters will get you a DPE So not so bad And in this case I'll actually add in a uh, Wisdom Eye from here And then DPE will just come back out again So maybe as uh, maybe this game will be good to explain about the second second turn game so now I'll be able to bring out DPE again okay then uh, I don't think I'll use my pendulum core but this thing will be able to pop itself and then uh, add Oath Dragon okay then this thing will trigger for harmonizing I'll add in harmonizing to my hand and then uh, I'll add this back I'll add my purple poison and remember I have this card here so I'll be able to bring it back out okay but I don't I won't don't trigger this effect because you do not want to shuffle this card back this card is pretty useless so just leave it there and I'll normal summon this to actually go into my Apollo star first This is just in case your opponent has any like uh, Nibiru or uh, anything there. So then next I'll pendulum summon out everything that I can. And then this. Okay, this card will be able to bring in one monster. Uh, the monster, does it matter actually? Nah, not really. But let me just bring in this so I can go into my Baron Defluor. It's either you go into your Baron Defluor or you go into your... Uh, go into a savage bro look. Yeah, I in this case I get Baron the Fluor because I want to destroy that set card there. And then he special summons something, but then of course uh you just like negate it. And then that's how you actually usually like uh, OTK with your pendulum magician. Yeah. So yeah, that's all for for this uh explanation. Hope that uh this will be able to explain a bit more on how this new Bandley's deck uh combo. And let me just go back to the deck list first so that everyone can take a look. Okay, I'm trying to end it in 10 minutes and I think I should be able to do it. Okay, yeah, so this is the deck list that I'm using again. So if you have any questions or any suggestions on how to improve this deck, do you want to include White Wing inside or do you want to include more or Ice Revolution or, or maybe Pendulum Sorcerer inside, uh, do feel free to share in the comment section below. So 
If you are enjoying this so far, do hope that you can help me by subscribing to my channel, liking the video and commenting down below. Join our Discord channel as well for more discussion and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!